Hello, CESACE families, and welcome back to another episode, specifically our third episode of Art Academics. And for today's episode, it's going to be all about me. So let's get to it. As I was saying, today is going to be all about me, or rather all about you. We're going to be creating self-portraits today. So welcome to this week's art project. This week we will get to know each other by creating a self-portrait using different shapes and different colors. Whichever ones you choose, whichever shapes or colors you choose. Okay, so by now you should have received the materials that Miss Julia sent to all of you. But if you have not, feel free to use whatever materials you have. And but the materials that you will need for creating your self-portrait would be scissors or the adaptive scissors sent by Miss Julius, uh, construction paper of all different colors and shades, and you will need glue to put the final piece of the project together. So for step one, the first step is to have the student take a picture or a selfie of themselves, and as it says here, make sure you have fun doing so, okay? Play around with the camera and make sure you just take a nice good old picture of yourself so we can see your head, shoulders, knees, and toes, okay? Moving on to step two. Now that your pictures have been taken, have the students look at their picture and look at the shape of their head. I'm gonna pause really quickly just so you all can finish taking your picture, okay? Okay, great. So now that you have finished taking your pictures, have the student identify if uh, the shape of their head looks like a circle, oval, or square to them, and have students cut out the shape that looks closest to the shape they identify with. So it doesn't have to be perfect, and cut out the shape that they choose out, okay? I'm going to give you all a second to do that, and then we're going to move on to step three. Step three, have students look at their picture and look at the shape of their shoulders. And you may just want to keep the, the picture out because we will be referring to it throughout this entire video. So now that you've looked at the picture and now that you've looked at the shape of their shoulders, have the students identify if it looks like a square or rectangle to them. And have students cut out the shape that looks closest to the shape they identify with, okay? And I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to cut out your shapes, okay? And then we're gonna move on to step four. Okay, moving on to step four. Have students look at their picture and look at the shape of their knees or legs. Or both. And have students identify if it looks like a circle or oval to them. And then after they do that, have students cut out the shape that looks closest to the shape they identify with, okay? I'm going to give you, again, a couple of seconds to cut out your shapes, whichever, whichever one they identify with, okay? And if I'm moving too fast, parents or guardians, this video can be found also on our YouTube channel, so you can always refer back to that. Moving on to step five, have students look at their picture and look at the shape of their toes or feet. And have students identify if it looks like a square, a rectangle, or an oval to them. And then have students cut out the shape that looks closest to the shape they identify with. And again, I'll give you a couple of seconds to cut out your shape with them. And again, it does not have to look perfect. Okay, great. Thank you all so much for joining uh, our third episode of Art Academics, All About Me. And we will see you next time on our, our academics for part two so we can finish our self-portraits. And if there were any glitches in 
the uh, presentation, but I do apologize. I'm still working on some technical difficulties, same as you all are. So please bear with me, but thank you all for joining and see you all next time. Bye guys.